Yo, what is up, you guys? Hope y'all been partying like every day is your birthday because we got another one for y'all today. And uh, we got a little video about Chainsaw Man. This one's coming from Scamboy Review. So we're about to see what he's thinking about this. Now, we've seen a few things on this. I know we've seen the trailer. I think we've seen an AMV or two, but this was a very hyped up one a few months ago. So we're going to see if this one's really living up to the hype. Chainsaw Man will be on everyone's top five list. So we'll see if it gets added to ours, but this man is going to have to let us know why. So without further ado, we're going to get right to what we do. Let me scoot up a little bit for you. You know, we don't have the headband, so the forehead is showing. Oh, hold on, let me let the... Let me just... Forehead is showing, bro. We're on our... You know what I'm saying? George Washington shit. So without further ado, we're going to get right to it. Chainsaw Man is disgusting. People who know me know that I enjoy more relaxed anime. Slice it's a life, nice looking anime. Kind of stuff like k -On, where there's tons of young girls having a fun time. I've always found the softer features and slow pacing. What do you mean by that? Appealing. And people who really know me know that I am pretending to be a f***ing idiot chainsaw man is hardcore the thing that's always captivated me about this guy's writing is his ability to kill off characters that you like ones that you think of in your spare time for 40 chapters oh, i already know i'm gonna like this one because that is what i love now even though it breaks my heart you know what i'm saying seeing that some of the main characters die it keeps you on the edge of your seat. So we loved about Attack on Titan those first few seasons, man. You'd have to be on the edge of your seat because literally they could be, you know, just all chilling and then eight of the main characters die just like that with split second out of nowhere. No context, no nothing. Just splat, kerpah, boom. Just done like that. And that's what we love, those type of things. They you really get you involved. 180 development from an unlikable character to a brotherly bond. And you're probably not thinking at this point, next chapter, this character will be killed by fingers. And what the shit? Out of it. But it happens. This is an extremely unconventional story that flips and subverts every trope that you're supposed to be accustomed to. A sharp boy? It shouldn't be in the mainstream. So when I heard it was getting an anime, I was like, huh? And when I heard that the preview is getting more attention than Attack on Titan, I was like, huh? What's that all about? What's the story about? Some serious. All, all questions I'm not going to answer. So Chainsaw Man is about a kid named Denji. Denji has supremely fucked up by picking bad parents. His dad left them with a debt that's impossible to pay back, especially for a kid. Damn, that's tough! How did the dad leave him with the debt, bastard? Oh, that's, that's very tough. Dang, though, bruh. Now the kid has to pay the debt? That's so tough, bro. I'm pretty sure that's how it works in real life, too. I'm not mistaken, bro. If some shit like that happens, you know, that's now your responsibility. I'm pretty sure. My fault. I was just, you know, checking. to pay that debt back tomorrow. Tomorrow? Pieces and sold. He meets a devil almost ready to face his death and is shocked to find that the little guy isn't in the best shape himself. So they make a deal to help each other out. Denji hunts devils with Pochita to pay back his debt in exchange for Denji saving Pochi's life. So getting a job is solved. Being taken advantage of, however, is not. He's trapped in debt. The dude lives off a slice of bread a day. He sold one of his nuts. His nuts, yes. He right sold of one of his nuts? Damn! Damn! Where is Squid Game when you need it, bro? That man had to chop off one of the family jewels? He, he done neutered himself for the cash? That's... That's tough, bro. Denji lives a destitute life of poverty, risking his life for table scraps until eventually he makes it out and becomes a professional devil hunter. Denji is a fucking weirdo, though. Midoriya, Ichigo, Tanjiro, these are solid characters with tight morals. They're also all on some goody two-shoe shit, and I love these guys. But it would also feel weird to smoke around this motherfucker. Are you going to call <laughs> It would, bro. Actually, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure, bro, if I got tons around, I was like, yo, you trying to hit this demon pack? I'm pretty sure that boy spark up. You feel me? Yeah, I feel like he spark the up. Right thing. They're all safe and normal characters. This is what we've accepted shonen protagonists are like. Tanjiro didn't sell his eyeballs so he could afford a slice of bread. That's what makes Denji interesting. He's basically a massive fuck you to most shonen protags. So when he says, yeah, I don't really want to save these people, but uh, if you let me squeeze your tits, I'll do it. <laughs> that's bro that man is no chill bro approach to everything that enriches the already enchanting world that gotta be illegal from humanity's fear so you got devils from the fear of tomatoes all the way over to the fear of leeches to swords to chainsaws there's an unfathomable amount of depth that leads to a proportionate amount of care oh my bro look at the kid look at that villain right there bro society is shaped around these creatures being the norm there's characters that join the force just to get revenge on one devil there's kids like denji out there so you wander this immersive world where quite 
right? Literally anything can happen and you're absolutely powerless. Are the ants evil too? People die, bad guys win, and the only thing you can predict here is that you can't predict a fucking thing. Chainsaw Man is dead. Dude, this sounds absolutely insane. First off, I gotta give it to this guy's narration skills, bro. That shit is just, you know what I'm saying, sucking my soul in, bro. You know, pause on that, but that shit really is just, you know, super involving right now, you feel me? But, uh, this story sounds absolutely insane, you guys. You know, like I've said, we've seen a couple of things with Chainsaw, but we've never really gone in-depth with it like this, and the storyline sounds absolutely Mind blown, bro. Mind blown. It's a genre bending gore fest, densely populated with some of the best fights in manga, leading to some of the craziest panels ever. Each one of them somehow pushes the envelope even further every couple chapters. So I feel like a goddamn idiot because I looked at this a year ago and said to my friends, Yeah, if they ever adapted Chainsaw Man, they would have to do it in full CGI. I said that thinking I was right. That preview <laughs> literally brought a tear to my eye. It looks like a movie. Oh, it was, it was, so I mean, I, I really was not enjoying the moldy food in that shit. You know, that broke my heart, but it was oh, absolutely shit, beautiful. They've already been excited before that. Chainsaw Man is a unique marvel of storytelling, so it only makes sense that the community behind it is just- like <laughs> Yeah, but it's it up, right? I've literally never seen a manga fan base that is as dedicated and tight as this. People were animating panels and making insane music videos for the manga far before the preview. And I just want to take a moment to showcase the crazy effort and talent that Chainsaw Man inspired out of people. Damn, I ain't seen this shit! Yo! I'ma need links in the description, titles right now for all of that. I'ma need to see all of that. I'ma need all of that, bro. I'ma need all of that. If y'all know where we could watch something like that. Far before the bro, this shit is fire. Baby girl is whooping and swooping that shit. What the shit is that? By chance, the other night, I was feeling like a fucking scumbag. Uh, I wanted to flex my superiority what the hell, bro? and be a hall monitor. So I booted up Reddit like everybody else. To my surprise, Studio Mappa was holding an event for all sorts of upcoming shows. They had this beautiful Whoa. looking You can barely begin to imagine how hard some of these shots were to make. The picture quality in that is, I'm blocking the best shots. That shit is beautiful. Shots were to make. The characters seem distinct. The music is great. Hey, can you keep it down? Hey, hey. Okay, is, now what, what, are they what okay? The is this? That does not sound consensual. Mappa and Madhouse are dropping a collab. I have no idea what's going on here, but I do know that it's pretty and made by two monsters in the anime industry. Attack on Titan had this presentation hosted by possibly the cutest man I've ever seen. That man is looking sharp, bro. That man is fast as snazzed up. Joji? No way. K-pop? So there was a lot of cool stuff that I and everybody oh, in chat did not give a fuck about. At any time, there was at least six to eight messages saying, Where is Chainsaw Man? Me want Chainsaw Man. And occasionally there would be a bunch of dorks going, Remember, this is actually a map event, not a Chainsaw Man event. Bro, we want to see the Chainsaw Man. Up, retard. It was awesome. And when the preview dropped, we went wild. I was screaming at my monitor. When chat saw Makima, they started... Barking like dogs. Redditors learned they could farm a ridiculous amount of karma by posting the same video over and over, and apparently the hype beat out Attack on Titan, not just during the event, but the trailer blew that shit out the water. Here's Chainsaw oh. Man last week. Wait a minute. On YouTube, Attack on Triton did around 5 million views in 24 hours. Chainsaw Man did 4 million in 4 hours? Holy shit. I mean, yo, I'm pretty sure we saw it the same day it was released, the trailer, and it was it was really just a masterpiece. It was something beautiful. Trailer blew that shit out the water. Here's Chainsaw Man last week, and there's when the trailer dropped. People really care for this, and it's still only a manga. That's crazy to me. Fans are also acting as if this is the best story ever, and the anime- Look at the villain in that shit! Yo, look at the villains in this. See, this is what I'm gonna love about it. Just- 
it's it's gonna be i it, this might even be better than attack on titan just because i love how you know like i said on edge attack on titan is but you know they always had the same monsters this one is gonna be like attack on titan with the they'll kill anybody anybody will die and the monsters are all going to be different. This literally has the potential, and it has high quality. It has one of the potentials that I think destroy the anime Earth industry. The anime will unabort babies. Actually, that would suck. They're acting like this anime will cure cancer and make you fly. So what's up with the hype? Is it warranted? Should you get excited? Here's the thing. Obviously, it's not going to be for everybody. It's too far out there. But if you're one of the people who... He's going to ride a shark? Saw, man. You become a zombie driven by its hypnotic storytelling until you've reached the last chapter. The panels have a life of their own, showcasing fights that actually make you feel. And here, the fight against the Eternity Devil is grimy and claustrophobic. Guts Whoa, shower bro. on the screen to give you a palpable sense of disgust. And when Denji finally came through and escaped, this wave of relief washed over me like, Ooh, the characters are so flexible and non-static, like Aki, who's an I can't wait for this one then. That tries to intimidate Denji into leaving and ends up getting his nuts kicked in by Denji right after. <sighs> Oh my god! He did from the back too, bro. From the back, from the back. He did that shit. I don't think I've ever seen anyone get hit in the nuts like that before. Usually it's always from the front. That, bro, that man just lost his baby makers. That is a strong right knee. Kicked in by Denji right after. This guy becomes so valuable to the story and becomes a much needed friend for both us and Denji in a story with not a lot of light. Chainsaw Man is not valuable for its fights or characters, but for its monstrous versatility. It's good at telling sad stories, it's good at happy times, and keeps you guessing at every turn. If adapted correctly, if it looks nearly as beautiful as the preview went on the show. See, that's just what it's gonna be about, man. Chainsaw Man will be on half our top five list. I'm calling it now just like I did a few years ago, and I will be making a video about it. So am I- I can't wait to see it, man. I don't know. Hey, shout out to this guy, though. I hope you know he's okay with me watching this, and if he is, I'm gonna be checking out a lot more of his videos. I really, really love his commentary. He gets super in-depth with it, and, you know, gives you enough where you're hungry, but not enough where, you know, you, you get too much information. So, shout out to him, and I have to totally agree. It really is just gonna depend on how they, you know, end up putting it into the anime, because there's a lot of things, you know, I'm saying, where... It is a good thought, but it's executed very poorly, and that's, you know, what ruins series. So I really, really, really hope that they, you know, put the time in. And if they do half of the time they put into that trailer, yeah, I think it's going to be an absolutely mind-blowing one. It really is going to make a big splash. I don't know if for sure we have a release date on that, so if someone would let me know in the comments, man, or if you have a video for that, please let me know. But uh, shout out again to this guy. Make sure you show him some love, and I hope y'all are excited. Let me know. Hey, if you made it this far, put banana hammock, and let me know if you're excited or not for Chainsaw Men. Y'all be easy, though, and uh, deuces.